I know so many people are thinking of getting a dog or a pet, and that's the focus of this entire topic. Uh, getting a pet, getting a dog, a cat, something that you want to bring into your home that you just have so much love in your heart for. Um, and sometimes it's with kids, you know, and, and the kids tell you that they'll walk him, they'll feed him, they'll take care of him, and before you know it, you're doing everything. So I wanted to put this together because getting a pet is so much more than just the walking and the feeding, and you, you want to play with them and you want to... Um, them to have a really great life but there's so much more involved with that and I do encourage you to get a rescue uh, it may not be a puppy but they act like puppies I mean Winslow Apollo when we first got them were like nutty they were um, a little bit heavier than a puppy but they were just amazing dogs with so much love in them so I always encourage that but the other side of this which is what I wanted to share today is all that's involved with Winslow he's 12 and a half and he has a ton of different medications um, he's has uh, hip dysplasia a disc in his back arthritis a heart murmur high blood pressure and most recently an ear infection an eye infection and we had to send him in for surgery to have this terrible cyst removed. Uh, there was no choice to get it done. We've been trying to avoid surgery with him at all costs because of his heart. But I, I wanted you to get a full. I wanted you to get a full picture so that you really get uh, everything that's involved with bringing something that's alive into your home. It's not easy. It's last-minute trips to the vet. It's saying to yourself, oh, God, you know, the eye didn't look so bad yesterday, although it didn't look right. It looks worse today. And then saying to yourself, you know, you got to take them in because a, a couple days from now, you know, it's just going to be worse. So there's no shortcut. It is having a kid uh, with all of the elements that are involved. So um, I'm going to break away from me right now and show you all the meds and everything that Winslow was on at this time. So just so you have a, uh, a complete picture of his little, um, this is his medicine chest. Usually it's in this cute little bag here. Um, but we have a Metamucil. Uh, there's a quarter of a teaspoon that gets put on his food every single uh, meal. So, you know, this just helps his digestive tra tract because we know that that's off, off base. Um, this is his uh, ear uh, medication which he gets one time a day and you have to clean his ears every couple of days so there's another solution for that you pour it in you have to really let it overflow you have to wipe out the insides and then you put in the medication but the medication is every day it's gonna be for two weeks um, this is his eye medication which he has an eye infection in his left eye so this is three times a day so that means every eight hours you are putting a drop in his left eye and you can't miss it. Yeah, that, you know, that that's right, folks. You you can't miss any medications. You know, you might think to yourself, oh, it'll be later, or you might even think it's getting better. Don't really need to continue it. No, you got to continue it. it. You do, because when you think it's getting better, there may still be a part of the infection that's still there. So you've got to stay on the regimen that the doctor prescribes. So, which makes more work for us, right? Uh, and then I have, this is his heart medication. This is uh, what is also called enalapril. It's called ben, benza, ben, benazapril, whatever. Uh, but he gets one of these in the morning, one at night. So that's a little bit easier because you get to do it with his meals. So it's one in the morning, one at night for that. Um, we have tramadol here, which is two in the morning, two at night. That's for pain, could be arthritis. Uh, this is his antibiotic. I, right now, it's for his suture wounds, which he has an infection on. So he just gets one of these at night. And best time to give an antibiotic, um, as I'm going to tell you with some of these other meds, is after they've eaten. So that's one of the reasons I give the antibiotic at nighttime, because he's already had some treats during the course of the day. This is his Pimobendin. Uh, it also ca causes some stomach irritation. Uh, this is for his heart murmur. And one of the things that, you know, we love about the Pimo Benton is that it is um, very proactive. We're all about being proactive. That's one of the reasons he goes to the vet, he gets treated, he gets the meds. But Pimo Benton helps um, 
control congestive heart failure before you ever get it. So they found that it's beneficial to give to dogs before they're in congestive heart failure. Some dogs are on it when they're in congestive heart failure. We don't want them to get that to that point. The drug has been known to help with those types of situations. So we're pretty excited about that. The challenge with that medication too though is morning and night. Um, and then we have his Rimadel, which is for pain and that could be his back pain. Uh, at this point in his life, being 12 and a half, we want to do everything to let him be comfortable. And uh, amlodipine is for his high blood pressure, one in the morning, one at night. And this is his Lasix, which is also for his um, heart murmur, which has gone from a stage 3 to a stage 5. So this is also for, um, again, the heart murmur. So wh what I do with these medications, because we want to make sure that he gets the right ones at the right time, is um, first of all the... Which one? Uh, where is the one? This one. The Lasix, this is three times a day. So again, it's every eight hours, and this is so important because it's for the heart. That means it's got to be on track. So it's a 6 a.m., a 2 p.m., and then a 10 p.m. pill. So I do this when I do the eye medication. So they get that at the same time. This is just goes, this is the bottle for the eye meds. So that stays together. Now, Winslow also has an issue with his eyes. If ever you see your pet have a blue tinge in their eyes, it could mean they have uh, too much water in the eyes. So these aren't anything except um, a form of salt water. Again, you can't put salt water in the eyes. You have to get the medication. It's called Muro 128. But if you go to an ophthalmologist for your dog, they will, uh, and he has this issue, they'll prescribe these six times a day because it's designed to take the water away from the eye. So, which, ironic, has a lot to do with the heart, too, when water is around the heart. So, that's those. That's like kind of its own separate little world. And these other pills that are the twice a day, um, zero drops or once a day, uh, if it's a small enough pill, uh, they go inside these little capsules. You know, we had originally gotten these for Apollo because Apollo was on a, a medication called Tylen powder. Um, I'm going to turn the camera just so that you can see me again. Uh, Apollo was on Tylen powder. Uh, it tastes awful. Now, you know, if you're a dog, you really look forward to eating, you know? So uh, why would you want to eat food that tastes terrible? So that's one of the reasons that, you know, we got this capsule here. And um, if you want to know where I got them from, certainly feel free to ask. But I'll actually put his two tramadol in here. I'll put Winslow's enalapril in here. I'll put Winslow's amlodipine in here. So four uh, capsule, four pills will go inside this one capsule, and then instead of giving him like eight different meds, I'm giving him this plus two others. So that's a break, right? It's a break. But regardless, Apollo was using this for his Tylen powder because we couldn't stand the thought that he was going to have to eat food that tastes awful. So he'd get the, the capsule, and then he could eat his food. So that's the deal with that. But So the rest of these pills, they either go inside a capsule, if it's the Rimadel or the um, Pimobentin, which are both medications that can cause stomach upset, we will give those to him after he eats. The medications are a mandatory thing. That's not a maybe or a maybe not. You know, Winslow Apollo came into our lives and if they're experiencing some type of discomfort, it's my job. It is my job as a parent, as a mom, to make sure I do everything in my power to take that away and to make them as comfortable as I possibly can. I took them into my life as kids, you know, and that's what they really are. So getting a pet, you know, getting a dog, again, I encourage you to rescue, to go to your local rescue or shelter, to look online. If you're looking for a specific breed, you might be like, we just have to have this one breed. They do have rescues for the breeds. You can go to podographs.org. We've got a link that'll take you right to the different breed rescues. But I encourage you, please, please think hard and long about making the investment in a pet because it's not just getting something that's just going to be in your home. It is a lifetime commitment for their life. You know, it's not really, when, once you've made that choice, it, it's not okay to just be like, well, I don't want it anymore. It, it's a real serious choice. So if you have any questions, please comment below. Uh, certainly share your thoughts. 
Um, some of you might think differently, um, but again, we're dealing with something that's alive. Anything that has life and feels deserves the most love and attention. And please go to podagras.org for more information on rescue and animal welfare, reporting animal cruelty. You can also donate there. We are a foundation that supports all animals. And money you send to us, we send to them. So thank you very much, and I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye. I think he's coming into the kitchen because he's wondering who I'm talking to. He wants to make sure I'm okay. So, um, Winslow, is that you? Talk to your daddy. <laughs>